Hey guys, what is up? Zero here, and welcome back. DDLC, the true reality. So, in the last episode, we basically... So, we went with Monica after she copped out of our TV. <laughs> Not TV, popped out of the game. We took her... We went back in the game. I guess we took her back in <laughs> with us. Again, I still don't, that still feels kind of pointless, but whatever. We went back in the game, and we've just been kind of... The game's just been kind of playing normally from here. It's just been kind of playing the same vanilla stuff. Just now, MC acts a little different. Not that different. A lot of the same stuff still happened. We had, what, tea? We talked about cupcakes and stuff. I think we have to write poems again, I think, right? Did we establish that? Yeah, they did. We're writing poems again. All that shit. But we're trying to look for the culprit of the thing. I'm pretty sure it's probably just Libertina. But you know, they don't know that, so that's all that matters. <laughs> so yeah, this time, yeah, MC's been kind of pandering recently. He's been, he's been, he's been, he's been a little. I'm not a big fan of him right now. He's he's, he's a little pandering McPanderson over there. MC's pandering more than a YouTuber who just got caught in some like deep shit. You know, he's <laughs> next. He's just got to literally just got. He's just got to wait for MC's charity live stream. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> They found his old tweets. <laughs> Hi again, Zero. Hey, Monica. Everything all right? Yeah, we were just seeing if you would have if you would have come back. Monica. Just kidding. Monica runs off where I can say anything in response. You did. You said Monica. <laughs> that was your response. <laughs> she really loves to tease me, doesn't she? Shouldn't that be a question mark? I'm not dumb, that should be a question mark, right? MC is tier 3 sub to Monica. He's not just tier 3 sub to Monica, he's tier 3 sub to all of them, it starts to- it, it's you feeling like... <laughs> what does that say? Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come with Sayori, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for joining once again, Zero. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Ah, it's fine with my schedule right now. Not like it's a 17-hour semester or anything. <laughs> I wanted to say something to that, but I didn't have anything to say. Like, I don't... See, that's my problem with him. He's just... I, I don't know. <laughs> like, what do I say? <laughs> it's like, I want to say something, because something he said was kind of weird, but like... It's not weird enough to where I have anything to say about it, so I'm just like... What? <laughs> the line zero. Like, I just, I just, I don't know. I guess we could just continue. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. He deserves any slack. I, I think it was just that comparison was weird. Sayori told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year, and the year before until yesterday. What? Oh, in the year before, until yesterday. Oh, you didn't have to say until yesterday. That was, that confused me. <laughs> hey, I'm a I'm am in in a club. I'm in the cl I'm in a club, so I kept my promise. I have my poem here, so I'm also not a slacker. And I said that figuratively. <laughs> a lot of defenses. <laughs> I have my poem, so I'm not a slacker, and I'm in a club, and that was that was figuratively. <laughs> It was all- and it was also a metaphor! <laughs> I didn't even mean it! I'm not even here! <laughs> hmm. You just did it yesterday, but it doesn't mean you'll do it every day. Bet. Did what yesterday? Join a club? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Wait, hold up! <laughs> hold up! You just said it yesterday, but it doesn't mean you'll do it every day. Oh, like, he said he'll bring a poem? Well, he didn't really say he was gonna do that yesterday. It was just kind of implied he would do it. <laughs> he didn't say he would do it, Natsuki. Don't be trying to think that I said things when I didn't. You watch yourself, you cupcake. I was also gonna say more insults there. I'm just off today. <laughs> you cupcake, yeah! Take that! Everyone's gonna be like, Zero, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, shit! <laughs> You really got her. Uh, chat, you better look out. Coming after you next. 
Also, this man just said bet. <laughs> Bro, bet! Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Huh? Was that in the base game? Because now I'm going to talk about the base game. What does that mean? <laughs> I mean, cause now, now I'm gonna talk about the base game a little bit. Cause I'm like, what is that? Was that supposed to be an insult? I was like, I know that was in the base game, but it just now it just feels now that just feels out of nowhere. <laughs> cause I was like, cause now I'm starting to be like, why did she? Why did she just randomly say that? Like, obviously, she said it because she knew it would affect Natsuki, you know? But, like, I don't know. It just In any other situation, that just feels odd. It's like, Natsuki, why you got a big mouth? You keep your manga in the club room. Like, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> so I was like, it just... I mean, I guess she knew it would get her mad. But it's just funny. It's just like, it just doesn't make sense. It only affects Natsuki, but I guess you knew that, so. I think it has a better segue in the base game. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that segue was better in the base game. Like, I didn't want to be too sure. Like, what was the, because I'm pretty sure there was a different segue. I do not think it was, you just did it yesterday. Like, I'm pretty sure the segue made more sense. Right? Like. Like, I'm not wrong to assume, like, I need someone to, I'm gonna continue, but Bug, go look at the segue in the base game, I need to know, because now it's gonna bother me. Okay, I'm sorry, but still. Manga is literature! Yes, it is! <laughs> if not, then my readings of that manga I read years ago would have not counted as my timid re as my timed reading two years ago. That's bullshit, because I've read a- I, I, they would count anything for that timed reading. Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Zero always gives it his best, as long as he's having fun. He also made busy work without me even asking. How dependable. Well, that's mainly because that is how a gentleman should act towards a madam. No. I don't like that line replacement. I like the old one better. Look, man, I'm not gonna go around just helping my friends clean up their goddamn rooms, all right? If their room's dirty, I'm gonna tell them it's dirty, and they do it. <laughs> I don't care if they're a male or a female. <laughs> God damn it, MC, stop it! <laughs> You're pissing me off! <laughs> you and your goddamn pandering! I hate him! I want him to shut up! <laughs> we all hate him. I hate him so much. You help the madam, not critique the madam. That is a goddamn lie. If it's a thing that needs to be critiqued, you critique them, MC! <laughs> is that so? <laughs> when did you start acting fancy all of a sudden? Yeah, I don't know, Sarah. It weirds me out, too. Sarah Kun, would you help me clean my room? <laughs> no! <laughs> I won't! Unless there's something in it for me! I would, like, help Sayori clean her room, like, once. But if it gets dirty again, she's doing it herself. Like, like that, that's how it works. Like, I might help her once because I feel a little bad. So I'll be like, okay, I help her once. But if she gets her room dirty again after I just helped her... Nah, fuck that shit. She's cleaning it herself. <laughs> that's how it works. Like, MC, you're not even in a relationship with Sayori. Stop it. Bad. Go to your room. Did you forget, silly? I started doing that yesterday. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Zero can become good friends, too. Uh, um... Oh, I forgot to mention this to you, Zero. But Yuri brought you something today. Wait, Sayori. Huh? Something for me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Hey, don't worry about it. I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. 
So any nice gesture from anyone is a pleasant surprise. Is that so? Yeah. I won't make it a big I won't make I won't make it a big deal about it. I won't make a big deal about it. The segue in the base game is that Natsuki's telling MC he better take the club seriously or he won't see the end of it. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Because she says you got a big mouth because she's she has a big mouth for someone to... Okay, because she's acting tough. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I don't know. This one, it kind of didn't make sense because Natsuki didn't have the final word, I guess. The segue felt a little odd, but I guess in a way, I guess it was also kind of fine. Because she was still kind of acting tough. But in the base game, it kind of made more sense because she was like, you won't see the end of it. But then Monica's like, you know, you're pretty pr pr big talk for somebody who hides her manga. <laughs> like, it makes sense there. Yeah, I feel like here, it, it's a little weird, but I guess it still kind of works. And I might have just overreacted a bit with it. So I kind of take back my thing with that. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Natsuki. 21 months. Paul grew. <laughs> Bro, Natsuki's almost got two years under her belt. <laughs> All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches under her bag and pulls out a book. I know you said you liked a bit of fiction, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention for a while. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read and discuss this once I get a chance to. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in the end to my arrival, I expected Monica to kick off the scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Everyone seems to be doing their own thing or interacting with one another. I go by each one just in case anyone needs a hand or an answer answered. An answer and a question answered. You can't have an answer answered. It's already answered can't have the answer to the answer because the answer to the answer is that it's a bad persona 3 dlc that you should not play <laughs> that's the answer to the answer <laughs> if you can even count it dlc it's like old-fashioned dlc <laughs> okay everyone huh monica suddenly calls out while i help out yuri why don't we share the poems you wrote now yay i can't wait to read your poem zero same thing to you. Were you able to write a poem last night? Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that conversation didn't have to be there. I don't know. It just felt weird. <laughs> Did you write a poem? Yep. All right. Well, <laughs> that's the end of that conversation. All right. <laughs> that one just felt like it didn't have to be there. You could have just got rid of that and just had Sayori say, I can't wait to see your poem. And same to you. And then there you go. You didn't even have to have Monica say anything. Javi, thank you for the sub. Doki Doki Literature Club, the answer. Oh no. <laughs> MC is dead and you play as Sayori. <laughs> Zuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Time to talk to Monica about what I've gotten. Hi, Zero. Looks like I was. It looks like I was first pick, huh? Yeah. What? Well, I just said hi to you, Monica. <laughs> oh, think, okay, stop saying hi. <laughs> hi, Lubitzina. <Lopetina. laughs> <laughs> but it's more than that. I got some clues so far on this issue. When? What? You got those off screen? Like what the fuck? When did you get these? The one that struck me the most was Yuri. She said something that relates to our issue as a whole, completely. Yuri? Yeah, I remember when she what she said to me. Like a plan to kill many people just to get one person at the end. What? When did Yuri say this? No! Oh, wait! I'm assuming that was off-screen when he said he was helping Yuri. Is that when that happened? Why would that happen off-screen? That seems way too important to just have happen off-screen! <laughs> like, 
I get it's like you could have easily just happened before this. Why did why did that happen off screen? That's really important. <laughs> well, also wait, what did he gather? What is what is this? I remember what she said to me. Like a plan to kill many people just to get one person at the end. When did Yuri say this though? I guess like well, a book she read? I guess it was like a book Yuri read. So I guess MC thinks it's that. Unless that. He doesn't really have anything to support that claim, though. I mean, that just sounds like something that's kind of like the situation, but it's actually not even like the situation at all. <laughs> There's nothing to correlate that to our situation, MC. <laughs> that definitely sounds like that person described to me back home. How? Oh, well, I mean, okay. I guess the person talked to Monica. And, okay. They did talk to Monica, I guess. So, I, just, I don't remember the conversation they had. It was like, I guess the, the person was like, yeah, I, I think I remember they were like, so call them Libertina, because I think that's what they are. Uh, the Libertina was like, I want you all dead, you know, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I guess. I mean, that's still not really a full thing you can really fire on, MC. That's just like a slight clue, like maybe they want that. A little too quick, the judge. That's extremely concerning. Even if it came from her book, that is oddly, that is oddly that is a oddly suspicious detail to word out all of a sudden. Yeah. Do you have an idea of what she's reading? Orchard of Markov. She gave me an identical copy. Book with an eye in the middle. Does it break any? Does it ring any bells? Not that I can remember. I'm going to give it a bit of an analysis. Try researching what this is. By the way, does Sayori oversleep? I forgot to ask you this yesterday. There's a lot of questions. MC, stop. Stop talking. These are a lot of just random run-on run -on sentences. <laughs> she normally doesn't run late until a few days ago. I'm worried about what she's doing to be late to class. And not scheme. Well, what? <laughs> I'm worried about what she's doing to be late to class. She's sleeping late. <laughs> she's over sleeping. That's what she's doing. She's not doing anything else. <laughs> uh. And Natsuki mentioned something about her dad not letting manga in the house. When? What? Did we like talk to all of them off screen? I don't know. When did this happen? <laughs> did we like have like all of their fucking like special scenes just off screen? I, I, I don't know. Because like, last time we talked to Natsuki, she didn't really like us yet. Her father can get strict sometimes. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen actual danger to Natsuki from him, but the whole manga thing does worry me a bit. And something about you not letting her put her put not not letting in yeah. It's something about you not letting her put her manga in the room. More to do with space concerns. <laughs> okay. What the, why don't spell okay like that and th don't abbreviate things in mods like that. Just spell out the entire word of okay. <laughs> What about you? Well, a lot of them have started talking to me about how you are. I guess you're all striking them by I guess you're all striking them by you off of place tone. What? <laughs> guess you are all striking them by you off of place tone. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> by you all. <laughs> My brain hurts. What? Place tone. <laughs> what does place tone mean? Is this actually right and I just don't comprehend? Because, like, it sounds like one of those things where it's right, but, like, I just don't understand. I guess that turns into, I guess you're surprising them with your off script dialogue. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it means out of place tone? Out of place tone, maybe? Is that what that means? Out of place kind of fits. Like, 
Guess you're awestrucking them by your out of place tone. Like, is it out of place? Is that... Is that what it's supposed to be? Let's just skip this. I don't know what this, that line was. <laughs> That's a given. Guess they have some expectation of me. Yeah, okay, out of place, I think, was the one supposed to be there. Not necessarily. More or less, how they interact in this environment. I getcha. Still nothing, though? Sadly, no. I'll keep my eye out, though. Alright, talk to you later, Monica. And done. I guess that's everyone. Okay, we skipped the poem sharing. I'm, I'm glad. I'm, hey, I'm right. Skipping any vanilla dialogue is fine by me. <laughs> I glance around the room. I see Sarah and Monica happily chatting. However, Yuri and Natsuki are doing something different. Okay, how is he going to break this up? <laughs> they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read, I watch each of their expressions change. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively turns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? The music was supposed to change at this point, right? <laughs> Wasn't it supposed to be, like, Poem Panic already? Or, or did it change later? It changes later? Well, wasn't the music supposed to be gone, though? <laughs> the music at least leaves, I thought, right? It doesn't? It does? Okay, that just spells it's kind of weird. Dan! <laughs> well, now I'm mad at no bug saying I think it stops. I'm pretty sure the music at least stops. Hold up, let, 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 let's see. It just... I, it, hold up, let's see. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked somebody who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Zero did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. I uh, know it doesn't until she said- No, I know I remember now. It doesn't until she says, I can't believe you're trying to impress a new- I didn't know you were trying to impress a new Clement Briuri. That's when it changes. <laughs> And Zero liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. There it is. Pfft. Yeah, we were wrong. My mistake. So if anything, now I'm mad at Dan. Dan, that music stayed for too long. Bad Dan. <laughs> Go to your room. Dan is totally watching. This, is totally going to watch this video and he's going to be sad. <laughs> he's going to leave a comment too. He's going to be like, Zero, this is Dan Salvato and you've made me sad. Dan sat sobbing. <laughs> Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you're so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh -uh. What the hell just happened? <laughs> That's not what I... Uh, you're, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Zero appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way and make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Zero started showing up. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! 
Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's the one talking, you stupid bitch! That is different. <laughs> that, I don't think she says that one! <laughs> I was like, that line is different! Dog, oh shit, that's act two! I was like, whoa! I'm sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. No, we didn't break it up yet. They're fucking going hard. Especially the one who reads manga. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves if they graduate middle school, you know. This one's normal. <laughs> And don't you dare fucking call out manga like that! <laughs> oh, the manga is literature excuse? I heard that so many times. Manga is a comic, not a novel, you twerp. <laughs> Shit. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your bossy attitude. At least, at, at least I not a nervous breakdown. No, they were going so well. Damn it. At least I don't- at least I don't have a nervous breakdown all the time. You can't even keep a straight face for panicking. Alright, that's enough from you two. What is the freaking problem? No, MC, just say fucking problem. Let's go. <laughs> Natsuki already said stupid bitch. Might as well just let it all out. <laughs> Zero. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Says the girl has daddy issues. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, what the Jesus? What happened? Bru uh, okay, okay. Like, I'm a big, I'm a fan of it not being vanilla anymore. But like, this fight is like kind of out of character now. <laughs> I'm starting to say like this. I'm starting to feel like this fight's a little out of character. Yeah, maybe that's the, yeah, maybe if they, if they confront it, then it's the point. If they don't confront it, then I feel like it's a problem. We'll have to see. Can everyone just chill out for two seconds? Just <laughs> have their mouths open. <laughs> I think I seriously lost my cool with these two to cause major red flags. Lost your cool. Natsuki lost her cool way more than you did. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't even go as hard as they did. I hope this event revealed isn't noticed by them. What the hell are they arguing in the first place because of their styles? Thank you. Yuri. Natsuki. I understand you two have, you have your preferred writing, uh, writing styles. That doesn't mean you should fight over it. They also should really change these sprites. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I don't normally- I don't, I don't get all mods when it comes to having their mouths open when they talk, but like... These sprites should have changed by now. I don't think they should just be looking at me like this while MC's talking. <laughs> I have barely any clue on how to write poetry until today. Let me explain why I like both of your poems. I like Natsuki's poem because it explains a lot in a few, in a few words. Yeah! Shh. I don't want to hear anything from you two till I say so. But I want you to understand this. It's not an excuse for you two to act this way. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Yuri, for God's sake, close your mouth! <laughs> and Yuri still hasn't changed. Yuri, you're gonna get flies! <laughs> <laughs> So like, like, these should, they, like, I don't normally get on mods when it comes to, like, because I don't get on mods when it comes to the, like, fucking them talking with their mouth closed. Because I know not every mod does, because even the base game doesn't do that. So I'm like, that's fine. I don't get on mods for that one. But I do kind of get on mods when they don't change the sprites for a good amount of lines when the sprite should probably be changed. Because I got on fruits for it, so I'm getting on this mod for it, too. <laughs> You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. Yuri. Uh -huh. Now there you go. <laughs> I liked your poem, but I liked your poem by how you used figurative language. 
You made me picture the poem in my head. But here's the thing I want you to understand as well. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal if you're a bit too critical about it. Uh, I see. I... The lesson here is this. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. We have to learn how to take criticism even if it offends us. Listen to it, but don't ignore good critiques. Don't think of this as that I hate both of you over this. I still like you two. The insults you threw at each other were uncalled for. So I'll apologize to each other for the words you have said this day. Do we? Yes. Also, Natsuki, you're way too happy about this. You should really change your expression. <laughs> also, I don't know. MC's like talk about that kind of felt really dragged too. It felt like he kind of already said his point and then he just said his point like kind of just felt like he just kept kind of reiterating the same point there. Like he just had like, like I feel like that could have easily been said in like a few words of what he needed to say but like I felt like it dragged on a little too long. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Both girls pout at my response. This is hard for both of them right now. But we're not moving till everything is cleared with them. And this is also going into my analysis table. Natsuki's the first to speak up. I... The thing about... Uh... Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Sorry, and Monica look away. Hmm. <laughs> anyway... The thing about your boobs... And calling you a bitch and everything else. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. I apologize as well for the horrible sayings I've said today. Especially the one about your dad. Do you all accept each other's apology? Yes. Yes. Good. Two may, you two may now go, but no more fighting. Okay? Yes, Zero. Yes, Zero. So, like, my problem with... My... Yeah, their dad. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> my problem... So, now, one thing I felt that's kind of odd, too, is that... I feel like... I, I, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like Yuri... Natsuki accepted Yuri's apology a little too quickly. Like, she kind of just, like, brought up a really big issue <laughs> that you've been suffering with your entire life. I don't know if that's just, like, a fucking, <laughs> like, a, it's okay. I, I called you a bitch. Perfectly fine to talk about my horrible family problems. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, if Natsuki talked about Yuri's cutting, then, yeah, maybe it would be fair game, but, like... She didn't even bring that up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But that was just like, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Also, I feel like Yuri should have got a little bit more reprimanded for that shit. <laughs> like, that's really fucked. Also, yeah, wait, Yuri knows about her dad issues? What? <laughs> I thought no one really knew about that stuff besides, like, MC and Monica, who only knows it because she's aware. But MC only knows if he goes down Natsuki's route. <laughs> How does Yuri know about it? <laughs> Did Yuri just do a shot in the dark? <laughs> Yuri just guessed. <laughs> well, now that we're past that, I hope it was worthwhile for everyone. There's still time before we go home. So we'll relax for a bit in the meantime. So maybe you could pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Uh huh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. He. <laughs> Okay, everyone. 
It's just about time for us to leave. How did y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Could go around Yuri mentioning my fucking dad, but you know. <laughs> Zero? How about you? I liked it. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Zero? A word? That was not a- that was not a transition. That was just inst Jesus, Monica, you didn't even- <laughs> You were just talking to them and then zero? <laughs> like, did something in the middle of that. Come on, anything. Like, the girls start packing up, Monica motions for me, I don't- Something, man, that was just an instant transition. The transition didn't even exist! We need some sort of transition. I walk towards Monica for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You handled that situation all right. I didn't expect him to fight over poems in yourself. Or are you going in a fury? But in the end, you managed to calm them down and fix the situation. You don't hate them, right? Of course not. It's just something that happens every now and then. Wait, he literally mentions that he doesn't hate them. <laughs> wait, oh no, wait. No, they took the- Monica says that in the base game. They didn't take that out because in his new- Because they changed what MC says to break up the argument. And remember, I think the next day when you talk to Monica about the poems, MC does bring up the argument. And Monica says, like, you don't ha hate them, right? Or Sayori says that. It's one of them. One of them says you don't hate them. I, I think it was Sayori, actually. Sayori says you don't hate them. It's not even Monica. But okay, well, then why did Monica say that? Our, literally, in our speech, we said we don't hate them. <laughs> I don't hate you. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, Monica, why, why even make Monica say that, then? I'm not sure about each other's relations, but it should improve over time. All right, see you tomorrow, Zero. Okay, well, that was not even like anything before I have to say about that. All right. <laughs> The dialogue just moves in this mod. <laughs> you too, Monica. Zero! <laughs> and then there's Sayori! <laughs> just no transition, just instantly. Everything just feels like it's just on an escalator. We just keep going. There's no stops! Help! <laughs> Zero! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. He. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It really has been a while since they were and I have spent this much time together. I can say that I've been enjoying my time here as well, even with some ups and downs. I decided to ask Sayori about both Natsuki and Yuri. Oh my god, is Sayori gonna have to say no? <laughs> you, they, they made sure Sayori had different dialogue, right? Sayori? About what happened earlier. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight and say those kinds of things like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? Oh my fucking god, it doesn't make sense! I literally said in the thing that I don't hate them! I put myself in this pain for you, people! I'm just the clown, and this is the circus. <laughs> Zero, you don't hate them, do you? I do now! <laughs> you know what? Now I do! <laughs> Fuck them, Sayori! Nice. Zero, do you hate them? People are gonna give me money to just to ask if I hate them. I hate you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Javi. I'm not- I'm not answering your question, though. <laughs> he put zero to you hate them. I hate you too, Zero. <laughs> that's right, that's our relationship, chat. It's a hate-hate relationship. 
a fucking bug. One bit. Zero. I've been wondering, do you hate me? No, bug. I don't hate you. I can't hate you. Who are you? <laughs> mm. No, I don't hate them. I did mention back there that I don't hate them at all. Exactly! <laughs> If he mentioned it, then why would both two people say this? That doesn't make it okay, even if he mentioned it. It just makes me question why both my two characters, not even one, but two. <laughs> if just one said it, I'd be fine, potentially. The fact that both Monica... No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Say, I'm not. No, I'm not blaming Sayori because she didn't know Monica said it. I'm blaming Sayori because she literally heard us say that. So, from a writing perspective, it's just annoying because both Sayori and Monica both ask if he hates them, even though he clearly said in his thing that he, even though he clearly said in his little speech that he doesn't hate them. He doesn't hate those two. So it feels weird that not only one character is asking, that two characters are asking. No, I'm just saying it just doesn't make sense. I blame Sayori because she's a victim of writing. <laughs> she's the victim here. I just wanted to see if they've argued before. That's all. Phew. You know, Zero. It's nice that I get to spend some time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. He. <laughs> we'll see about that with Yuri and Natsuki. What about me and you? Well... It makes me happy, too. What? What is ha- What? Huh? Who? What are they saying? <laughs> we'll see about that with Yuri and Natsuki. That part makes sense, I guess. But what about me and you? Well... It makes me happy too. What? That's not. What? What did like an appropriate response be like? What about me and you? Well, I like you. It's like, why is it makes me happy? What? What's it? Am I it? <laughs> Who's it? <laughs> now I see the antagonist tactics. They're gonna drive Zero insane. <laughs> no! <laughs> that was their plan all along. Minor flag I should note down? Every day is going to be so much fun, though. I promise. I'll hold you to it. I pat Sarah on the shoulder. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, Zero. See you later, Sayori. After waving Sayori goodbye, I proceed to MC's house and walk in. Right, because we're the player. Writing my poem for tomorrow, I start to analyze what I gathered so far from today. Sayori seems to be happy with me making friends. However, I felt something off when I asked her what she felt between us. Yuri and Natsuki seem to be a bit prone to fights and insults. I was trying to keep both of them calm with each other. So wait, her saying that was supposed to be her being off? When Sayori's off, does she just have, like, broken grammar that makes no sense? Like, I don't- I, I, like, I, just, I just don't understand what it even meant. No, they, they no. Luckily, they the mod developer. I did see their messages. They because they have been watching the video, the videos. They did say that they do appreciate the feedback and they're enjoying the playthrough. So, because I'm glad, because I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings while playing this. I'm. You know, I was like, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings while playing this. I am just giving criticism. <laughs> I was like, I <laughs> hope they don't read chat. Yeah, chat has other. I don't know. Chat's not me, all right? Just just leave chat over there. But I was like, it's like, I'm trying to give constructive criticism. Like I said, this isn't even like the worst mod. It just suffers from some issues. The idea in itself is still slightly interesting. I was like, it's like, so. It was like, just, there ha there's just a lot of problems with it. Like, I still think it's B tier. But I don't think it's like C. I still think it's better than a lot of things I played in C tier to some degree. At least the characters are in character. <laughs> it's, granted, it's vanilla, but you know? <laughs> so it's not that hard to do that. What's in C tier? 
I don't remember. Midas? Midas is in B tier, I thought. Well, was not Midas? I think I only put Midas in C tier because it was too short, bug. I think it was in C tier. I'm not even sure if I remember. Yuri said a suspicious line. The book. Hmm. Yuri might have said that as an example, but it's so close to the main mission because... The plot of the book sounds familiar to her as well as the character. Natsuki and her dad. I don't remember any of this happening in the original game. You don't remember anything in the original game! <laughs> that was the whole point! You know, out of all the mods we've gone through, you know what none have? The damn door transistor scenes from Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Why do you want that? <laughs> That's such a weird thing to want the slow opening door. <laughs> <laughs> now that's an S tier. <laughs> Where's the mod with the Resident Evil door transitions? <laughs> Let me picture this on a draw board. I don't remember any of them saying a swear word. Okay, so that is meant to be a like a weird thing. Okay. Yuri, the line she said in the book, tied to her in the mission calls. This is bad. It's starting to develop more quickly than expected. Tomorrow, I need to grab more evidence to picture the picture bigger, but so far, Yuri feels different, along with Natsuki. Not gonna point out the fact that Yuri somehow knew about Natsuki's fucking father? <laughs> That's kinda weird. <laughs> anyway, I need to go read those two books, also for analysis before going to bed. I start to open the portrait of Markov and begin reading the book. This book is nothing what Yuri told me. The club stops by a church they go to yearly. The church has been turned to a cult for testing. All of them are forced to live in a medieval prison to wait for testing. Jeez, this book is way darker than the actual summary. What is it hiding? Anyway, I need to finish Natsuki's manga or else she'll be angry. Oh, just two pages! Well, this is going to be quick. How's Natsuki's manga only two pages? What? What manga's two pages? Oh, finish. Okay. Alright, alright. <laughs> you know, out of all the mods I've seen, none of them have ever addressed why does the MC have a straight coat hanger? Exactly! <laughs> That's what I've been saying, Bug! The coat hanger doesn't make sense. No, he doesn't! He has a closet! He has a closet right there. No, we're- no, we're not- no, we're, we're only- no, see, we are gonna fix the issue, because we're gonna fix it by not getting rid of the- we're not getting rid of the issue, but we will fix the issue in our mod. <laughs> yes, we will. I have- I have something planned for it. I mean, it's not that important, but it's just like, uh, it, it won't be in chapter two. <laughs> oh, it might be just for his blazer, but they never say that. They never do. And, and, but also, most mods, he never says, I take the, my blazer off the hanger. It's also just weird. <laughs> the hanger's dumb. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Llama. Damn it! That's what we should have asked Dan when he streamed. <laughs> when he had the Q&A, we should have asked him. Damn it! <laughs> that would have been the most important question. I would have donated until he answered. I'd be like, Dan, why is there a coat hanger in MC's room? What does it do? <laughs> maybe, maybe next time, Zero, we did. Maybe next time, Zero. I gotta wait till next anniversary. Whenever the hell Dan streams it again. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think he's supposed to stream every year. And done. What time is it? 12 a.m.? Crap. I need to sleep, else I'll be a doozy. I'll be a doozy? What? Go, go to sleep. Turn off the lights in the room, change into my pajamas, enter the bed, and go to sleep. 
Good night, Zero. Why does he say good night to himself? <laughs> That's weird. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought. <laughs> no. No, my joke is I say I love you, Zero, and I'm like, Zero, I can't, I don't know, I have commitment issues, I can't love you. <laughs> but, what the fuck? I, I, I don't know if I trust my other Zero. I, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he... Why, why? <laughs> Good night, Natsuki. <laughs> I don't like the fact that he goes, Good night, Zero. Good night. <laughs> what? Who said that? God. Good night, Zero. You don't have them, do you? <laughs> this is just so weird. I don't understand. Why did I just I just really don't understand. You don't say good night to your alternate personalities? <laughs> was it supposed to be a joke on like was it supposed to be a joke for on like him saying goodnight to the MC because he's the player? And if it was, I feel like it wasn't very, like, explain. It wasn't explained well. It just looked like he's gone insane. <laughs> he's a schizo. <laughs> okay, that was a bit overboard for today. But that did confirm my suspicions of him. He is definitely someone else. He says goodnight to himself. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> Zero would never react that way to them. That confirms my suspicions too with Monica. Haha. <laughs> I should give her a present for doing so. I would give her the voice changer, but she can't sound- she's a girl. So, it's clearly a girl because they talk about how they like player. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna give him a weird, weird creepy woman voice. <laughs> I should give her a present for doing so. Anyways. Zero, oh zero. I hope you enjoyed your first two days with them. Because now it is time for me to begin my plan. You will only be mine. 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 Yeah, I guess so, huh? <laughs> this is just DDLC, but now it's not Monica. Now, now it's someone who knows what they're doing and is deliberately being evil instead of just being somebody who, like, doesn't want to be but is just doing so, you know? <laughs> instead of you feeling bad for them, now it's just somebody who's just, yeah, I'm 100% evil. <laughs> like, I know what I'm doing is evil and I'm gonna go through with it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Always watching Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Always watching, Zero. <laughs> Always watching. <laughs> and no one will get in the way from you. What, what did I just say? <laughs> I, I think I meant, and no one will get in my way from you. That, that still sounds weird. Hold up. Uh, and you won't get away from me. No, no. Uh... uh and I will... You won't leave! <laughs> Not even Monica! <laughs> <laughs> and your little dog, too! <laughs> Sayori! <laughs> Bark! <laughs> Just say <laughs> Sayori! Woof! <laughs> <laughs> another day passes, and it's time for another day at the club. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Zero. Hey, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. She, she's always in a good mood. <laughs> it's Sayori. <laughs> he... I'm just not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. <laughs> that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Eh, I need to rest up a bit. 
Eh? That's not like you at all! I'm just tired from the school day, that's all. Did you sleep late again? No, I just said I'm tired from school, Sayori. I know I was hyperactive the past two days, but the regular school day sometimes wears out a person. How are you hyperactive? You just walked around. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll come with you for a snack. There we go. That's the zero I remember. First one to the vending machine has to pay. Oh, it's on. Hey, what? Wait. MC, lose! <laughs> Everyone's like, wait. <laughs> MC, just start walking! <laughs> wait. Wait, maybe... I was about to say, maybe it's a bait. Maybe he got, maybe she got her. Sarah gets a head start ahead of me, but I managed to rush out of the room and overrun her to the vending machine. And done. Guess who has to pay for the snacks now? Me? How? No! They just said it wrong! Damn it! I gave it credit! Damn it! I gave it credit! I gave it credit! It would have been clever! It could have worked! It would have been funny! I would have laughed! If it was actually like... Sayori says like, first one there has to pay. And MC like just misheard her and ran there and was like, Aha! I made it! It's like, now guess who has to pay? It's like, you have to pay. Because I said first one there. <laughs> and then he'd be like, oh crap. <laughs> like, that would have been perfect. Yep. Just kidding. I'm going to buy my own snack. Damn it! Oh, it would have been so good! It would have made sense! Ah! <laughs> it had a chance and it squandered it! <laughs> it was squandered! Squandered! Monica, hold me. <laughs> Wait. What the fuck are people talking about 20 gift subs? What are you guys doing over here? <laughs> what the f uh, I don't even know what people are saying. I don't know, chat's being weird. No, we didn't get that, because my alert box is on. <laughs> Zero, you, Zero, you should have known better. Zero, never get your hopes up. <laughs> You're right. Just always keep them low, I'm sorry. This mod was funny, though! That's why! I had faith because there were some funny lines. I thought Sayori pushing MC to the ground and him, like, being that was funny. That was actually, like, a funny thing. So, like, I had it- so I thought I had a chance. Oh, wait, when did I mute you? Oh, shit. <laughs> what? When were, you were muted. I don't know how long you were muted, though. I think it was only oh recently. Oh my god. What? I think it was only- no, it was only recently. It was only recently when I said hold how? me. Because people heard you why? before. Why did- why did- why I did don't you mute me? I didn't mute you. Streamlabs probably did it. It does that sometimes. When was the last time you guys heard me speak? I mean, you weren't really talking, though. I was talking, like, every couple minutes because I was eating food. And I wanted to punch into the mic. Wait a minute. <laughs> you tell I uh, don't tell me I've it just sounded like I was talking to my talking you were talking to yourself. Uh, I may have just checked. You were muted the entire time. Oh my god. Well, okay. <laughs>